What is civet and why is it important in perfumery? The thing about civet is that, first of all, it's an animal, technically, it's not just a note or a product. Uh, it's also a type of musk. There's also musk from deer, synthetic musk, you know, lots of different types. Civet has been used specifically for its um, unique type of musk for, uh, I think, at least a thousand years, if not longer than that. So the civet, it's a it's a it's a strange looking animal that kind of looks like a cat um, from Africa, and in fact, uh, most civet that is produced today comes from farms in Africa. Mostly because a lot of other countries, it's illegal to farm civets for that reason. So, in uh, these civet farms in Africa, the civets are not treated very well. They're usually kept in cages. Um, and they're just kept there to produce um, civet musk or civet oil specifically. And this oil is produced from their, uh, it's, called, it's called perineal glands. And uh, interestingly, if you have a dog, your dog also has perineal glands. If you've ever been to the vet and the vet expresses the glands, that's, they produce a certain musky odor. Now your dog won't be able to produce any civet fragrance, but uh, the civet animal specifically produces civet in actually the form of a kind of liquid paste sort of thing, which is extremely strong. Uh, actually, some in its pure form, I guess it's so strong that it's actually nauseating to smell. Apparently, uh, someone many thousands of years ago thought this horrible smell would smell better if they diluted it with something like what you know I guess alcohol or something similar and then when you do that it actually smells pretty good uh, when civet is diluted uh, it will eventually become a slightly sweet yet musky sort of odor and from there it is often used as a base note in fragrances and uh, the problem with that of course, is that uh, these farms exploit uh, countless civets and uh, not they're not in the best conditions. Um, they pretty much just exist to be farmed. And besides that, um, most perfumers don't really use real civet anymore because of that uh, that reason. Although you will find that most vintage fragrances, have the real thing. They have uh, Chanel Number no. Five, for example, was well known for its real civet notes. Um, if you if you manage to be lucky enough to find a vintage bottle of Chanel Number no. Five, you will most likely find a difference with that civet note in particular. Uh, the real note versus the synthetic note, which is used these days in Chanel Number no. Five. So. Even though the synthetic version does smell similar, it doesn't have the, of course, the natural depth and complexity. Uh, but perfumers do that for the, the sake of the civets. Um, in general, if you do come across a fragrance that uses real civet, which is pretty rare these days, it will be very, very expensive. Um, because, you know, it has to be imported, it has to be refined, it, Civets are not really farmed as much as before, so it's just in general a rarer commodity and Again most of the time it would be pretty pretty difficult to find a fragrance that uses real civet these days um, Fortunately perfumers have gotten pretty good at simulating real civet with synthetic means and uh, they've come up with um, very very nice and complex and smooth and musky uh, synthetic civet notes. So, like, when I smell a, a modern version of Chanel Number no. 5 today, um, I, I would say that civet note is still very civety. It's still very animalistic, strong, musky, um, with that slight sweet undertone. And overall, the civet note is very, very useful for a lot of fragrances. Um, I would say it's it was more popular with older fragrances. In general, animalistic notes don't seem to be popular right now, um, neither for men nor women. So it could always come back in fashion though, but um, 
it still acts as a really good base note because it is so musky. It's still so, uh, r you know, really recognizable when you have civet in a in a fragrance. It's it's really there <laughs> in your face. You, you can't really miss it. Um, versus regular musk, which can be pretty. In, in certain instances, it can be kind of hard to detect just plain old musk. Um, it might be a bit too weak, it might be just too indistinguishable. But you really can't miss Civet because it is really on the stronger side. Um, and it can really give more complexity, more intrigue, uh, more mystery to a fragrance. Um, I, I, I personally am not a big fan of Civet, but I do like it in certain fragrances. Um, Chanel number no. five, of course, is a classic example because it is balanced with the floral notes and aldehyde notes. So you don't get too much of the civet until it starts to dry down. Then it becomes a little bit stronger. But in general, civet is pretty important in the world of perfumery, whether it's real or synthetic. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about civet. Um, if you have any questions or opinions about it, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.